Hello, Brockton. We're here at the 2017 Holiday Parade. I'm here with John Marion, Paul Marion, the, the two masters of the universe, I guess, here in Brockton for <laughs> Holiday Central. Um, sunny day, beautiful day. Um, it's been cold, it's been warm, but the sun's shining in Brockton. Mark, uncharacteristically, uncharacteristically warm today, but I'll tell you, the crowd has come out for many different reasons. One of them is that Brockton Varsity Soccer has won the state championship. First time a state champion has come to Brockton in any sport since 2004, and the very first time that the Brockton soccer team has won the state championship. Also, Andrea Gabo. She is a 2013 Brockton High graduate, Cape Verdean, wonderful, wonderful woman. I got to know her when she was an intern at Tuxedos by Marion, and uh, this girl has always wanted to be in public broadcasting. She's the former Miss Teen USA and currently the Miss United States Earth. Also, we have, uh, we have, we have so many different things. John, why don't we sign her up to do the broadcast? Oh, she's on the float. Oh, we can't, could do that, both, right? But Paula well, will have to get her on, on the camera. And with so a, with what we interview. have today is a warm day, and we have Frosty in the parade, but he's at the Easton Ice House right now just staying cool so he doesn't melt by the time the parade's over. So, so one other highlight uh, that we're having is uh, Shakara Cadillo. She's a 1996 Brockton High grad, and uh, she is Mrs. Massachusetts. So, I, I mean, it's an all-star. Oh, and, and I forgot, I, I can't forget this. Rick Saviano, who's class of 1977 Brockton High grad. Okay, he is our Good Samaritan James Edgar um, community service recipient. And so it's like an all Brockton day today. Well, Rick Saviano, if you think about what he's done with soccer, I hear sirens in the background. He's probably part of the reason that the kids won the championship because it starts young. Right. He's been doing that as a volunteer for years. And it's Great. only fitting that he's our parade marshal the year that they won the state championships. You couldn't have scripted it better. No. And before we get started with all the festivities, I just want to uh, say condolences to uh, Lois Schleffer and her family. Mort Schleffer, who was the director of emergency management, passed away yesterday. And he was a true champion in the city, a true gentleman. And I want to dedicate this parade day to him. I agree with you 100%, Mark. We had so many... Uh, interactions with Mort regarding the parade. Uh, we're going to miss him a lot, uh, me personally. I also want to say condolences to your dad, okay? We, you lost your father this year, and uh, it's a sad thing when we lose our parents. For sure, for sure, and we just want him to have good health and be with us forever. And I hear sirens. I think we're starting. Parade is starting. We have the Brockton's finest, Brockton police on the motorcycles to kick off the parade. And there you see in the monitor the... Uh, yellow Camaro and that's where Andrea Gabo is our uh, 2017 Grand Marshal sponsored by the Downtown Brockton Association, Campello and Montello Associations. Andrea is a great example for the youth of Brockton uh, showing by exemplary action that if you work hard you can succeed. She is currently graduated from St. John's University in uh, New York and will be going into public broadcasting. I believe that was one of the vehicles they used in the movie Transformers. Oh, and was. you have the Brockton Police Bumblebee. Honor Guard. Bumblebee, right? Yeah. Thanks, guys. Keeping Brockton safe and behind them, I believe I see uh, Chief Crowley and, and the, some of the fine men and women from the Brockton Police Department. And we just want to thank the Brockton Police Department for keeping Brockton safe. They do an incredible job working with the DA and the state police. Uh, we thank them very much. I think we see now the uh, sheriff's unit, the uh, horses. Marching unit. Yeah. See, the sun is so bright today, it's, it's hard to see, but uh, it's a nothing. great day to be at the parade. They're the horses. The kids love the horses, and uh, Dan Callahan from the uh, sheriff's office has always been considerate enough to bring them. Uh, kids love them. Right behind, you see uh, the banner says City of Champions, and you have the city council and the elected officials uh, going by. State Senator Mike Brady, Mayor Bill Carpenter, Jerry Cassidy. Let's see who else we have. John Buckley, 
and Greg Hanley and Michelle Dubois in the back. And I just want to say thank you to Mayor Carpenter and the City Council for uh, being 100% supportive of this great, great day in Broughton. And more city officials behind. Merry Christmas and happy holiday. Hey, Michelle. Merry Christmas. Michelle. Happy holidays. Now we have members of the City Council. We have City Council President Robert Sullivan, uh, Shirley Azak, Ward 7, my City Councilor Tim Cruz from Ward 1. He's coming over. Does he have goodies for Timmy, us? Timmy, how you doing? Hey, Tim. Merry Christmas. Good to see you. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Council Sullivan, Merry Christmas. thank you very much for all your support. Thank you. Very thank nice, you. Very nice. Newly elected uh, Councilor at Large, uh, Council, Gene. Congratulations. Welcome on Shana board. Shana Barnes. Uh, I want to thank Shana for her service for the last few years. Absolutely. School committee members as well going by. School committee. Tom Kathleen Minicello, Smith. Kathleen Smith, the Kathy, superintendent. We'd Merry like Christmas. to say thank you to the school department. After all, we're going to see so many different uh, bands and marching groups from the Brockton Public Schools. Right here we have the uh, Brockton Emergency Management uh, BEMA, led by uh, Steve Hook, who's the current director, and again, Mort Schleffer was the past director, served with distinction for years. And we want to thank Steve for being completely supportive. Uh, it was an emergency situation here today, hey. and uh, they took care of it incredibly. Freddie Fontaine's driving the vehicle. Freddie. Freddie. So Good I'd guy. like to go back to the mayor, uh, Bill Coppett. Last night we had uh, the uh, James Edgar um, reading. And at City Hall, the mayor read the night before Christmas. We want to thank him for the tree lighting ceremony last night. Uh, he's been totally supportive of this, and we want to thank the city council for uh, also supporting this wonderful community event. Uh, thank you so much. Now, are you looking at uh, the honor guard from the fire department? You have the city flag, the fire department flag, the, our American flag, and the POW MIA flag. And you have the pipes and drums. We'll take and maybe stop and take a listen to them when they come by. Got to stand before the judges. <laughs> judges are all up in the parking garage. It's going to be tough judging today. Absolutely. I think if you walked around, and I, I, I did see you walking around, you saw all these different floats that are out there. I wouldn't want to be a judge. No, me neither. We got the best seats, John. Here we go. We're going to listen to them. So we have an early count. I think there's 14,978 people that have checked in for the parade today in attendance, and it's a great crowd. John, John usually has a number that's up in the millions. Oh, do we have to growing. check that with the... Well, this is done by helicopter, Mark. I think the actual count comes in later. Okay, preliminary count. to say anything over that beautiful music, but I think you get your numbers a little messed up, Paul. I got 140,000, 180, 220, okay? So you I know what, the piece of paper that I got was a little crumpled. I could have missed a zero on that. You have the fire chief uh, Williams leading his men and women in the Brockton Fire Department. I see Eddie Williams over there. He's usually taking the pictures. This time we're taking pictures of him. Brockton Fire Department 
one of the best fire departments in the state. A lot of pride behind that department. You can thank Chief Galligan uh, as his predecessor to Mike Williams. Uh, just a great, great organization. The gauntlet was passed, and Michael's doing a great job. That's our brand new ladder truck going by. And we're going to have emergency vehicles uh, right behind them. We, Brockton is supported by uh, Brewster Ambulance, doing a fine job here in the City of Champions. I'll tell you, the fleet's always impeccable. It's very hard to point out that's a brand new truck. They all look brand new, but that's a serious piece of equipment. Hopefully we don't use it. Well, it just goes to show you the pride that's in this community, whether it's the mayor, the city council, the Brockton Fire Department, the Brockton Police Department. There's just a lot of pride in it. And it, it resonates with the community and it resonates with all the people that live here. Look at all of them. They're just smiling faces, children. It's incredible. And Brewster just uh, dedicated uh, the old DeSantis Chevrolet. It's going to be, uh, they are like sub regional headquarters, brand new headquarters in Weymouth, and they came here and cut the ribbon in Brockton. Well, you know, the great thing is that was a property that uh, pretty much was underutilized. And uh, once again, we're trying to take those underutilized properties in Brockton and uh, put them back on the rolls and keep them active. So we thank Brewster for that. Of course, there's $280 million worth of investment going on in downtown Brockton. So all kinds of things happening regarding housing, uh, commercial, and residential. It's, uh, it's just creating a new environment down here, Mark, Paul. John, what's this group coming up? The, it's a motorcycle unit. This is Fire and I, and Scott McDuffie's leading this group, and it's just incredible. I mean, look at the motorcycles. Uh, Scotty's a great guy. I've known him for many years, and uh, they just love coming out, showing off their motorcycles. That is the Scott McDuffie, correct? That Former is school committee the member. Scott McDuffie. There we go. And Tom Monahan's in there? Tommy Monahan's there. Oh, City there he is, right Look at that. There. Tommy! Tom. All right. He's all patched up after a surgery. We don't want him to fall. Oh, right, <laughs> correct. We need him on the console. He stacked the deck there by riding the bike. Now, one of my I favorites. I thought that was Cool Hand Luke. I think so. <laughs> all the way from, uh, what's that street? Uh, is he on Gifford? He's over on the Wood, too. Right near the old Whitman School. Now, this is always a favorite. This is Worcester Sound and Light. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. I like Joe when they Tortorelli. come by and do a good job. I think they've been the longest uh, commissioned group that's been involved in our parade. They've been here, I think, the whole 30 years that I've been involved. Well, if you think about it, Worcester's like a, a, a sister city to Brockton. The cities, the gateway cities in Massachusetts are Absolutely. on the move, and uh, we're seeing a lot of development here. Worcester, uh, former Lieutenant Governor Murray, who's now President of the Chamber of Commerce up there, and uh, we, we have Rob May right here in Brockton, and Brockton's looking good. Yeah, I think more and more. I mean, if you can just look at the, the, the view that we have, downtown Brockton is really transforming into something incredible. It, the, the, the news has to get out to the rest of the community that this is going to be the place to be. It is the place to be. Restaurants are opening up. Uh, we're getting new residents down here all the time, so it's just great. And here comes the uh, Worcester Sound and Light. John, you're not singing yet. Are you doing selfies? I am doing selfies. There you go. And and this is a fan favorite coming up. Um, is this sponsored by T.L. Edwards, the Clydesdales, John? Well, you know, I can't thank Terry Edwards enough. I mean, first of all, kids love the Clydesdales, okay? And every year we make the call, and Terry says, by all means, put me in. So I'd like to thank T.L. Edwards for bringing these magnificent horses here for all the children to enjoy. Thank you.
mean, when you see the horses up close and personal, I mean, they are magnificent animals. I heard a rumor that Budweiser is coming here to film the next commercial. Is that true, John? Well, they might be opening up a plant here. Sounds good to me. Did you hear that? I did. I did. That would be, 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 be great. Could be at 137 Main Street. Bre breweries are a good thing for Brockton. So as we see right now coming approaching, it's uh, Rick Saviano again, uh, our James Edgar uh, Community Service Award winner is sponsored by the Good Samaritan. And uh, I'd just like to say thank you to Rick for the years of community service uh, in many things, but most importantly, we know that he had a great feeder program with BYSA to the high school with all those talented kids. With him today is Joe Saviano, his son, Isaiah Gomes, Seamus Clifford, Mike Affleck Capui, Spencer Bernoy, and uh, Mike Saviano has the car that they're riding in. These guys were captains for the two state championships that Rick brought home uh, during the uh, tenure at the BYSA. That is incredible. And just all the service, his public service as well as a judge and now as the first assistant DA. Exactly. I mean, Rick is a long-term Brocktonian. There's a lot of Brocktonians that came back to see him. We want to thank you for your job, dedicated guys. service. They're having fun today and that's what it's all about. We'd just like to thank uh, the Good Samaritan for being the sponsor of that uh, wonderful program. And I got to tell you, John, when I woke up on Sunday and saw that front page Enterprise story with Mark Vest Consellas' photo with number one state champions and the smiles, it was just amazing. Wow, it's, it, you know, it's unbelievable. I mean, first of all, it's great. Well, coincidental, as we're looking at the Brockton Youth Cheerleading, it's coincidental that, you know, for all these years, Rick, was a part of the soccer program, and this year they win the state championship, the high school students, I mean, at the varsity level, right? And Rick wins the award. It just synergizes perfectly. Absolutely. Now we have Brockton Youth Cheerleaders. Uh, thank Lynch's Towing for uh, providing one of the flatbeds, probably more than one. Well, Dave's always been a great partner with us. Uh, it's just fantastic that he just never says no when it comes to... Uh, offering a flatbed we couldn't do the parade without dave and uh, but it's unbelievable i mean what they put together in such a short amount of time is this LaRonda's group LaRonda campbell i think so this is LaRonda campbell's group and what's amazing to me with this group is is i don't know how she continually gets like twenty thousand girls okay hey. LaRonda, can you just explain something to me how do you get twenty thousand girls to come down every year it's just amazing to me we only get a little piece of broccoli just a little we bit. We don't even have a big enough monitor for them all. We love it. Do you, where do you put them? I mean, do you have a big enough building? We got a new gym this year. All right. <laughs> but thank you. Good job. Good to see you here. Thank all you. <laughs> Just incredible. That's what I was saying. I mean, look, it fills up the whole monitor. Like, we're going to get a bigger one. That's what HD and widescreen is all about. <laughs> Next year it'll be 4K. <laughs> They're amazing. <laughs> There you go, yeah. I mean, what a performance that was. That was absolutely amazing. Kira and Jasmine, her daughters, it's a family affair with that whole union, and the Campbell family has also provided great public service to Brockton. Teachers and principals and all over the place. But the kids, the kids are what it's all it's about. It's all about the kids. I mean, when you see those smiling faces, the dedication, the hard work, the time that they put into that routine, I mean, it's just amazing. What do we have next, John? Uh, next we have the Wade funeral. Is that what that is? It says uh, 18, ends? but in front of the, the car looks like cheerleaders too. N-E-P-C-A-A. -A. That says 17. It was crossed off our list, but... Oh, that's the New England Patriots cheerleaders. cheerleaders. Yeah, right. how you doing? 
Great. Thanks for coming I, out. I, I, Appreciate I, I, that. I think one of the matters. Yeah, that Lisa Matter brought that man. There I mean, we go. We want to thank Lisa. Is, is this Fro Frosty? This is Frosty. He's this got his hat off because it's a little warm, but that's all right. Yeah. Wow, look at that car. I think he's melting. Here and comes the up. Brookfield Bears at Brookfield Elementary School. This is where my wife is at right now. She's the secretary of Brookfield. Ah, now I know. I was wondering where she went to. Brookfield is a great school over in Ward 6. You know, and as we're watching the wonderful float here, this magnificent float that they put together in, uh, you know, the weeks leading up to this, I wanted to thank Lisa Matter from Matter, uh, Shirley Matter Dance Studio. Uh, Lisa has been dedicated to Brockton. Look at the smiling faces right here. This is just a look at that. Look at that. Look at that smiling face right there. And the bows and the boxes and the Christmas presents. Hey, Julie. Um, I just want to say thank you. Lisa joined our committee this year, and she got not only her dance studio involved, but the New England Patriot cheerleaders. Oh, and this is uh, Shakara Cadillo. Uh, oh, wait a minute. No, no. No, no. no. This is Nicolette. Nicolette. I'm Pelequin. sorry. I'm sorry, because I couldn't see. Miss Rhode Island. Yep. Nicolette Pelequin is Miss Rhode Island. Lisa also was responsible for getting her in. And uh, she is Debbie Pelequin's daughter, who is a longtime Brocktonian. Hi, Nicolette. Uh, and coming up, you got 100 years of service. Rotary uh, Rotary is near and dear to you, Mark. Near and dear to me. 2018 Rotary Club of Brockton is going to be... 100 years old. That's, That's how long amazing. they've been serving the community. Nick McCummings is the current president, and I'm trying to see who's holding. I see Tina White. Sunglasses. Uh. <laughs> well, I think that this is a year where they, I think they're going to have a, um, a celebration. They're going to have a, a gala. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what? Rotary does a lot for this um, community. Uh, it used to be the sponsor many, many years. Yes, he was the originator of this parade. And uh, we're trying Bill to Bill Callahan, this. a high school. Oh, 100 Billy. years. Billy Callahan. Didn't recognize him with the Billy, sunglasses. Billy, 100-year anniversary. You don't look a day over 50. <laughs> and and uh, Amy Corum is working with a musician to commission a song for the Rotary for Brockton. Oh, right. Exactly. And the kids are going to play it. Rotary. Brian, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Brian. I have the pin on. Can't find me. <laughs> Betty. And we have Cal Bourne. He's got his uh, old-time Chevy in there in the parade. This has gone to the Macy's parade, he told me. And he's a, he's a Robert Kraft's twin brother. Did you know that? I didn't know that. He just uses Bourne for some reason. Huh. What do we have here? Brockton Girl Scouts. You know Matt, you, Matt, you asked that question, and they should. They absolutely should. But, you know, we appreciate the Girl Scouts coming out. I mean, this is a parade all about children, as we hear East Bridgewater behind them playing. John, you guys get the best bands. It's always good to have the surrounding communities. Brockton's the hub of the wheel, and all the communities around us that come to join us, it's, it's a great community spirit. You know, this year we have more bands than we've ever had. sound fabulous. East Bridgewater are the Vikings, I believe. The Vikings, and you know, this this parade, I'm so proud, uh, and all of us have been involved for so many years, but it's becoming the biggest, the largest, the most incredible regional parade that we have in the area, and it's all because of all the participants and the people come down watching it. All the volunteers, all the school children, community people. This one says Junior Boxers, Pop Warner coming up. That's right, yeah. Did they cut in line? They're down to number 31. Number 31, yeah, well, we cut the line. That's okay. And we have Bridgewater Rainham coming up. 
Yeah, now many years ago, the Bridgewater Raining program, they had cut the band. And, um, you know, slowly but surely, they're bringing it back. And uh, it's getting bigger and bigger. And they were playing the other day at the Brockton Bridgewater game at uh, Thanksgiving. And we just want to thank them for coming out. And while Bridgewater Rain is going by, I just want to thank the folks from Bridgewater Television, BTV. We partner with them every year, whether it's in Brockton or in Bridgewater, to bring you the sights and sounds of Thanksgiving Day football. Jeff Fowler and his whole crew, we work well together. And Jeff's a Brocktonian, but he works is. in Bridgewater. Yep. What do we have here coming up, John? I uh, think this is Love Alliance. What number is that? 34? 34. Yes, this is Love Alliance. And uh, they always do a great job. They're out here every year. And Louis Lemuel, we'd like to thank him for putting this together. Oh, my goodness. All right. This is All right. Thank you. Bribing us. But here we're we not go. the judges. No, we're not the judges, but we'll take it. We'll take it. And thank Everett's Auto Parts for uh, donating their flatbed to help out Love yeah. Alliance. Between Everett's and Lynch's, I mean, we couldn't put this parade on without it. But uh, I'd like to take a second here to thank Joe Lupica who provides the uh, DJ music uh, leading up to the parade and if you have anything going on over the holidays please call Joe Lupica because he's the greatest DJ in the world and an all-around nice guy and an all-around nice guy now this is Matta Dance Academy okay and we'd like to thank Lisa Matta again all right Lisa has been responsible for um, not only bringing the New England cheerleaders, Patri New England Patriot cheerleaders here today, uh, also Nicolette Pelequin, okay, and now her own dance studio, which has been in Brockton for over 60 years. And so this dance studio is a tradition here. Is that Donald Duck or did you steal the Aflac Duck, John? Come I on. think it's Donald. Okay, Well, just first of all, I know because Disney was mad at us because we got Donald right now. Okay. And... as you're watching the uh, complement of dancers I mean Lisa's done an amazing job up there taking over the business from her father Shirley and Eddie who I've known all my life I've known I knew him and uh, know her know her mother and um, Lisa I can't thank her enough because like I said she brought in uh, several groups she's on our committee and uh, also class of 77 there's a lot of 77s back here this year well, the 70s decade was a good decade for Brock and I. I happened to be the last year. You were 79? 79. Coming up on 40th. They had a mini reunion last night. Yes. Over at uh, Joe, Joe Lupica did it. Wait, right, was that over at Sidelines? It, it, uh, Doyle's now. I'm sorry, Doyle's. Close yes. enough. I can't, you know, I can't. I know, we used to all the old names. So right. A lot of the old names are gone. But Doyle's is a good tradition. Little lull here in the parade. I think uh, I think we have 37, 37. This is Cowboy Al. Who's Cowboy Al? Well, Cowboy Al, he's a, he's, he's a great guy. Um, they're from the uh, Fall River area, but most importantly, George Cataldo was responsible for getting Cowboy Al here. And this is another reason why the parade this year is just, it just resonates Brockton because George is our honorary sergeant of arms this year. George is 90 years old. You know how dedicated he's been to the uh, Brockton as a community, and we felt as though to honor him like we're honoring Rick, like we're honoring Andrea, like we're honoring, honoring Shakara, all Brockton people, okay, and, and have a tremendous community sense. So, uh, yes, he's George is riding with Cowboy out, and, while and we'll hear some music. While we're talking about honoring people and, and a good tradition from Brockton, the Brockton High Alumni Association is reinvigorated. They're working very hard to connect Brockton, Brocktonians. There's 40,000 people, 
50,000 that graduated from Brockton High School, 40,000 still live in Massachusetts, and they want to tap those alumni to uh, mentor kids, job shadowing, different things, not just collect money like an alumni association. I was part of a focus group, and Bob Saltzman is looking for people's input. Hey. Hi, George. And there's George up there singing. Keep singing, George. There he is. There Congratulations, he is. George. Next. Yeah, no, Bob Saltzman is... Um, He's the new uh, organizer of the alumni. He Association, is he's the executive right? director, right. and they they have a full time position, and he's he's working hard, um, getting people together. There's talent from every single decade. There are still classes that are 50, 60 years old going strong. Mine's heading into 40, and uh, I think if we use the resources we have in here in the city, we're going to be good. Yeah, what I liked about uh, what's going on with the Alumni Association is that uh, Kyle Landholm was explaining to me. First of all, we had the first ever homecoming at Brockton High School. This is Pluff Academy Marching Band. And Pluff is named for Joseph Pluff, who was the former assistant deputy superintendent of schools when I went through Brockton. We're gonna let them, let's listen. So the Bluff Academy is the uh, academy that my children went to, and uh, my daughter uh, Manal played in the band there, and my daughter Lena played in the band there, Dadon played in the band there, now they're all graduated, they're off to college, and they're not playing in any band. Exactly. Now the next up we have Miss, is it Miss Mrs. Massachusetts? Mass Mrs. Massachusetts. This is Shakara Cadillo, and she's just a wonderful, warm-hearted person that I've gotten to know uh, recently. Uh, she's a Brockton High grad, 1996. She was the senior class president. Uh, now she's an engineering teacher. What's amazing about this is that I know I'm getting older because I remember when she was the president of the class of 1996 and we were working with them for the Dress for Success program at Tuxedos by Marion. There so you go. I get older, they get younger. So we're, this is number 43, which is the wheels of time. I'm going to see if my friend Joe Dutch is in one of the cars from Southeastern Regional. He's on the school committee with me from East Bridgewater. Always the classic cars. John, you, you, you remember when these cars were uh, cruising Main Street, right? You know, it's sad to say, but I do. And I think that some of these cars were like in my uh, repertoire, which means that I am getting older and they are getting younger. But look at the great shape they're in, the pride that people keep in the cars. They do a lot of fundraising and community service. They, you know, partner with our school over at Southeastern, and uh, they basically raise money and give it away to charity. Every time I see these cars, you know who I think of? John Burke. Oh, yeah. Because John yeah. loved the cars as long as they didn't shoot fire out the back. <laughs> yeah, another great gentleman that helped us out for so many years with the parade, I mean... It's just amazing how many people have been involved in this over the course of 30 years and 31 now this year. But uh, we miss John. We sure do. I used to see him in that bright orange DBA hat. And then all the parades. Wow, Monte Carlo going by, Mustang going by. They're going by so fast my guys are uh, keeping up with them. Chevy. And then some classic cars. I see 70s cars in here. Yeah, I should have kept my 80. My first car was a uh, 1972 Pontiac Le Mans wagon. It was that god-awful green color. It was my dad's car before mine. My first car was a 1968 Canary Yellow Barracuda convertible. That was before the Barracuda had muscle in it. But that was a cooler car than mine, John. What about Paul? That's when they had padlocks on the door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a 73 Catalina and a 75 Buick LeSabre. That's all American cars. My favorite was my dad's 70 Buick Skylark. Oh, yeah. That was a yellow. It wasn't Canary yellow. Look at the El Camino going by. It's El Camino, cool. awesome car. I remember that car when it was just coming out. Yeah, and then I had a 1979 Trans Am, kind of like Smokey and the Bandit era. 
and then a 1981 Corvette and a 1988 Corvette. And then I got married and I got a four-door sedan. <laughs> Did you get a minivan after that, John? Oh, then I got a minivan. <laughs> there you go. Well, I, the whole, the whole great thing in the family. The joke is that you know I had a kid and then I got rid of a sports car, and then I had another kid and I got rid of a sports car, and then I had another kid and I got a minivan. My best friend Dave Westcott, when his kids grew up, he got a Corvette. It's sitting in his his yard. It's usually in shrink wrap in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a Corvette right there, and it's for sale. Oh, I got to get it back on that wagon. Wait a minute, maybe more kids. Oh, look at the dog with the Santa hat. Now coming up right after the cars. Who said uh, we dogs don't Trinity have Christmas Catholic spirit? Catholic Academy Band. Great program. Trinity Catholic, I think three different schools. Uh, St. St. Edward's, which is now St. Edith's Dine. Uh, they have a school over at St. Coleman's, which is now Christ the King. And I think there's a third facility, too. But they have a great band and uh, great spirit over there. A lot of school administrators retired and came over to Trinity Catholic to run it. Well, you know, it just talks about the community of Brockton and how it really is centrally focused. And I'll let, them, I'll let the band play their music. Playing Frosty, John. Frosty! Frosty's in the parade, but I think he's melted today. I think it's 58 degrees. was great and you know the great thing about Brockton is, is that really it focuses on education and we see this throughout the parade whether it's the Plouffe Academy or whether it's right. the Trinity Catholic uh, school we get a little guest appearance over here by a, who is it a, this is a longtime friend of mine once again class of 77 Mark Bloomstein okay hey Mark a long time Brockton you. resident uh, he's here to honor Rick Savion because we all graduated with him Going right by, also, we had the Paul the Dunbar Lodge, number 19, yep. marching. So, you know, as we're looking at everything coming by, uh, Navy Seabees coming up, okay? Navy Seabees. Uh, I think this is the uh, second year that they've been involved by. You think? Did we see these guys last year? I think so. Yeah. All the flags, the POWMIA flag that's so important. Oh, yeah, I remember the drum. These are guys in the Navy that have seen bees. The, the yes. bees are starting to disappear. James so J. Blaine mark. Senior Memorial Float, past commander, uh, October 1926 to October 2015. And so this is the West Bridgewater Marching Band. John, you have 57 attractions in this parade. Oh, yeah. I mean, it goes on and on and on. You're spectating, Mark. When you look out here and you see all these talented bands and all these people marching in, I mean, what are, what are your memories of Brockton? Well, let's let them, let's let them play and then we'll talk. We have a young man in the wheelchair with the trombone in his hand. I just think this is a great, great, great day to be out here watching this. Absolutely. Mark, Everybody's are you impressed? In. John, how many years have you been doing this? A lot longer than I could imagine. I've been I doing it 24 doing, with you, but you beat me. I think it's about 31, Mark. But, you know, I mean, do you realize that most of these people had a chance to go to the Macy's Parade? 
There's Bernie, the principal of Kennedy School, Mr. Rogan. Mr. Rogan, thank All you very Kennedy much. Kennedy School spirit. Community, the Kennedy School's the best. And they got a nice float. Again, thank you to Lynch's. Mark. Look at all the kids. That must resonate with you. There's a menorah thank you, up thank there. Thank you for finally we go. putting a menorah out there, John. All yeah. right. We're 37 floats in. Well, listen, you know That's what I okay. mean? I, I have a Jewish man on the right of me and a Jewish man on the left of me, and I'm Father Christmas in the middle. How much credit does it get? I think that makes you half kosher. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. Kennedy School definitely is a spirit in the town. We've got uh, behind it is the home of the Brockton Raiders youth football and the cheerleaders. Well, here's a historical fact for you because Brockton is rich in history. Did you know that Al Davis, the owner of the Brockton Raiders, uh, the, the Oakland Raiders, now Brockton. going now going to like Las Vegas, was born in Brockton? Did you know that? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, John Davidson, host of the Hollywood Squares, West Bridgewater. We almost had him. We're close, close, close enough. We close were enough. North Bridgewater, so I guess West Bridgewater qualifies. For, right? First electrical fire station, right, John? Brockton, Mass. Oh, first yeah, fire station. Yeah. When Thomas Edison came to that fire station. Right? And he wired downtown, including our building. We have an Edison switch down in the basement. Thomas Ceramic. Edison. The yes. Thomas Edison. The Thomas Edison. So what do we have here? We have, uh, following Kennedy School, uh, Brockton Assembly of God. Now, it doesn't, you can't. This float is amazing because it takes a whole block up. You can't quite get that that perspective on the monitor, but it's a, it's it takes up the whole block. I mean, it, it took a month to do that. It's huge, huge. It's huge, as our our beloved president would say. Now we have W R O R, who's down here all the time. Uh, and there's Jay Miller. We're going to put Jay Miller on. I don't know if he's. Uh, I think he's recording for us for our our second broadcast. Is that what he's doing? He's saying hi, Mom. I don't know. He's waving to the crowd. He's hepping up the crowd like he usually Hot does. Hot 96 Boston is here. And then we have, oh, the Stacy now the Stacy Adams Cultural Center. I got to stay. Uh, this is just an amazing building. It's a former uh, Stacy Adams building on Dover Street. And the folks down there have done an incredible job bringing that building back to life. And it's all full of cultural arts, musicians, dance studios, artists and um, you know what uh, I can't say enough about them it's just an amazing thing and they're so supportive of our parade now they took the entire building and put it on this float Mark you are moving heaven and earth literally John I mean they brought the, they took the building and put it on the float and brought it here to the parade we had a building we had a float that was a block long and now you have the now South middle school South middle and Davis schools the two bands combined You're bringing together marching bands that would never be together, John. You know, Mark, you grew up in this community. I mean, does it make you smile to see all these people coming out? I mean, earlier we had about 140,000 on our official uh, tally, but, you know, I think we're approaching close to 900,000 right now. That was my report that I just got in from Sir Monty and Freddy at our accounting group. But yeah. you walk the streets. I mean, would you say there was close to 900,000? Well, oh, at least. Every, everybody's at in Brockton least. either in the parade or watching the parade. Yeah. They, they were they were taking, bringing people in from a helicopter from the Bridgewaters because you couldn't get close that, enough. That, 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 that I witnessed right here. That's the only way to get here. That's, that's why we don't put it only on TV way live because there's no one home to watch it. They're all here. I don't. You know what? I don't have a chance. I'm surrounded by Mark and Mark. You know, this is you like, this, this is unbelievable. Got Councilor Sullivan behind us and we're watching the band from the sky cam up in the uh, parking you know, and garage. That's another thing I gotta say. I gotta thank cable, okay? I mean, we have come a long way, but Brockton Community Cable is by far with the sky cam and the helicopter cam. We got the building cam. What are we got? And we're going 4K next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Matt said that's on tape, so now I'm in trouble. <laughs> um, but John, I mean, my first, I knew you from before, but when I first came to Brockton Community Cable back in the day, um, we almost didn't have the parade on TV that la that year. It and was a I tough year. I hadn't started working. Mayor Farwell was there at the time, and we pulled the parade off in a couple of weeks uh, after all the volunteers did all the work. I love the parade. I've been, it's just a regular every year. You know, to your defense, though, we only had the two Maxwell House cans in the string that year, so You're I right. mean, it wouldn't You're have right. been your fault. You're right. We replaced that truck. We got a new truck. 
What do we have here? Montilio's Bakery. I'd like to thank George Montilio. This is a giant gingerbread house of real gingerbread, Mark. Oh, and wow. Mark, okay, and you can actually yeah. eat the gingerbread. It's a good right thing that it's this. moving at the speed it is, or yeah, I, I would try and eat it. We would be attacking it right now. Especially if there were gummies on it, John. I got to tell you, Mark is, <laughs> a, has a history of eating gingerbread, okay, from my house. So yes. we'll go back to that. This is the championship, championship Brockton High varsity soccer team. Okay, Coach Herminio Furtado has done an incredible job with these kids. But what I'd like to say is congratulations for bringing home a state champion. First, 5-3 win over Longmeadow. Okay, they have a record of 21-1-2. and two. We'd like to congratulate them, but most importantly, these kids are as class act on the field as they are off the field, and I have to say that. Exactly, because when Longmeadow lost, they went up to the other you know, their rivals to console them because it's really hard to lose a game when you're in the tournament and these kids are class act, you're right. And we have been getting uh, all kinds of people calling in and saying that they are a class act group of kids. They're gonna have many more to come and uh, we'd like to congratulate them and that's why the Greater Brockton Holiday Committee Derek DePina Brendan Gomes Brendan Gomes and, and Junior, Junior Gomes. Gomes are the three captains. We'd like to congratulate them. Athletic Director uh, Kevin Cairo, who was on the float, who coordinates it all with Janet Diver. Couldn't do it without the athletic And I'd like to director. thank Kevin for sending down some volunteers today to help us carry some of these signs. But there's so much of Brockton High and so much of the public school system involved in this parade. NAACP, uh, my colleague on the school committee, Tony Branch, I see... Uh, Steve Abrams right there. How you doing, Steve? Good to see you, man. Thank you very much. Is Martin Luther King right there on the monitor. It's and amazing they, they, how we came back And to they're this. coming up on the 65th anniversary. I was there for the 60th. They're coming up on, they have a, they're, I see Phyllis Ellis, who's the new president of the NAACP here in Brockton. She's doing a great job. Asheville and West combined middle school. Set on the banner, yes. Well, I mean, there's like 500 kids in there. They must be getting bigger and bigger. Paul just grabbed the microphone. He's going to go out to the dog pound, which I'm and Marion, uh, my nephew and his son, is the president of the Brockton High senior class this year. And I'm uh, put together the dog pound float. And on this float, we have many of uh, the kids that went to the games this year. Okay, they call themselves the dog pound. But most importantly, the freshmen football team who went 10 and 0 are marching with the dog pound and paul's going to get out there and talk to him but as i said Amon is the president of the class and you know what he went out and he talked to many groups to try and really uh get as many people from the high school involved in this parade and i think you can see the results absolutely so we're up to i see road cruiser auto club before then yeah, we're on number 62. Paul, Paul's, I guess Paul's going to do the undefeated freshman football yep, team. Along with the Brockton Dog Pound. This is something that they just uh, that they just created up at the stadium with the Dog Pound. It's kind of like... Uh, kind of like when they had Moses Mooses. Was that what it's called? Moses Mooses in the... There was Moses Mooses. Right? <laughs> so this is like the Dog Pound. There you go. 
That's an important distinction, John. Who's got the boxing gloves on over there? I don't know. Oh, that's that's Tiger. Tiger Moore. Tiger Moore used to train with Marvin. Man, this guy was tough in his day. Actually, I shook his hand the other day. He was the Black Santa, all right? I thought it was really Santa, but then when I look, I go, Tiger, that's you! Oh, jeez. You know, if you knew John Marion in the 80s, uh, Marvin Hagler would come walking into the uh, house when you were at John's house. Yeah, John has a lot of Marvin memorabilia. We got another cr uh, Road Cruises Auto Club. More classic cars. Mark, is the... Uh what was your first car? Because we were talking about Well, that. I already saw it. I saw two of them. I had a Nova SS. That's that, another SS. This I is our so. third SS. Uh, and they're always red. Yours I, was red. I drove mine responsibly. Not like this guy revving it up right here in front of everybody with the noise. My next door neighbor had one of those. You next door to Mark? No, next door on <laughs> Ash Street. The Le Al Levine. Remember him? Oh, I do remember He's a real, Al. real estate agent. His wife had that car, and we always wondered... Why she had the car. He always had Cadillacs. He always had Cadillacs? Always had Cadillacs. I'll tell you a story off camera one day. <laughs> Can't tell it on. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of cars. 11 or 10 or 11 cars. I think every antique car in the state of Massachusetts is here today. Uh, yes. Huh? I do know that. I know, but we're going to... But miss... Yeah. We're, we're going to do Paul first. We're going to have Paul do that interview because it's coming right up, and then we will get a special guest on right afterwards. John, you talked about Memories of Brockton. What was the name of the movie theater that we all went to? The Colonial, right the here Colonial, where, the, where right. the courthouse is. Courthouse and we is. watched uh, well, Earthquake. Earthquake. Remember? With uh, <laughs> Charles Hanston, probably. I don't know. No, was it was it, or was Tidal Wave with uh, Raquel Welsh? It was oh. the era of the disaster films. Look at that. Oh yeah, it's that the Batmobile. Batman? That's the Batmobile. How'd you Ooh, pull that off, John? Huh? Hey, Is that Batman go. or Bat Dad? Who's driving that? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go out to the street here. Paul's got the. Uh, Brockton High dog pound with the Brockton High freshman football team. Okay, we are here with the dog pound. Go Boxers! Sponsored by the Brockton High Decker Club, and this is our freshman football team, which is undefeated this year. Congratulations to the senior class president, Armin Marion, and the Brockton High School freshman football team. Uh, Look at the school spirit here. I mean, amazing, amazing. And there's the real boxer dog. I mean, they got everybody today. Join your floats have it all. Look there's at that. nothing missing. I mean, it's amazing, those costumes. It looks like they're not wearing anything. It's practically like they wrote on their chest. Practically like they wrote on their chest. It's amazing. Very talented you group this year. John, you do seriously show a different side of Brockton here than, than some people uh, think of when they think of Brockton. It's an important thing to do. Well, listen, I mean, look, always been a proud community. As we're listening to the Oliver Ames band right now, uh, we'd like to thank Rob Wheeler for bringing them down. Oliver Ames has been a great partner with us, um, and we love listening to this great music that he puts on. They got a great program over there. How you doing, Rob? Good job. So I'd like to uh, send this over to Mark, who's on the street, who's going to interview Andrea Gibault, which is our Grand Marshal this year and a Brockton High 2013 grad. I'm so proud of her. Mark? Welcome back to Brockton. Thank you. It feels so good to be back here. So good. You're having a great day? I'm having an amazing day. What is your message to all the folks here in Brockton? Um, what is your theme for the year? Well, first off, it's 
it's an absolute honor to be Grand Marshal uh, today. I grew up watching the, uh, the Bronx and Holiday Parade and being here with my family, and it's amazing to actually be part of the parade this year as Miss Earth USA. And Brockton is my roots, and I want to tell everybody, no matter what dreams you have, we have so many talented people here, and uh, my message to them is that whatever they want, they can achieve, and so just go after their dreams. What's your dream going forward? Well, my dream was to win Miss Earth USA, and I, and I did it. Um, but now I really hope to be a t television um, reporter, so that's what I'm working towards right now. Well, we're going to have to try you out over at Brockton Community <laughs> Access. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Enjoy the rest of the Thank day. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mark. Go back Thank to John. You, John. I appreciate Take that. B-City Reps right in front of us, Dance Studio. Yes, we have uh, Cassandra Ruto, who is the uh, organizer of this great group in front of us. we just seen him walking by. B-City Reps Dance Studio. Thank you, Cassandra. You're new this year. We want you back every year. And uh, thank you so much for being involved. Right behind him, we have the uh, Old Colony YMCA. YMCA is a, a major part of downtown Brockton and the whole uh, area around Brockton. There's YMCA's everywhere. Yes, and, and today, this year's theme is uh, celebrating the holidays of your ancestors. And as you can see, well, they passed us, but we can see that uh, they pretty much represent the entire world. The whole here. world. They the brought the world. entire planet. It's well, a small world. It's not enough you have 57 floats. You need the whole planet here, John. Well, I think it's pretty close. I mean, so Monty and Freddie just gave me, we finally topped a million. We're at 1,172,000 uh, people right now in downtown and the surrounding area. And, uh, well, you know, why wouldn't you come down? Everybody's here. It's pretty amazing. It, it's more people than we're at the inauguration, John. Barely. I, just barely. Be careful. You're going to get a tweet about that. <laughs> Don't, That's don't what I'm working there. towards. Yeah. Well, you we, know, we can put USA Christmas down on, on, on Twitter. Why not? I mean, the whole thing is, do you know how hard it is to get Mark Boomstein to come back to Brock? Well, never mind, just to get him together. I mean, so we had to bribe him and say, look, you could be in the broadcasting stand because every time Mark's supposed to be somewhere, he's working. Yeah. Well, so we're glad so he's now here. we could all be trending on Twitter. Right, just like go. that. The Y has a lot of energy over there. We're going to. Um, Um, so behind them, we uh, see EOMS, a uh, friend of mine, Lou Tarantino, owns uh, the recycling uh, company. And Lou has always been a strong supporter of uh, the Brock and Holiday Parade, and he's a staunch Brocktonian. We'd like to thank him for being involved. Recycling is where it's at, John. Brockton, right. uh, Brockton's done a good job with that. I understand we're getting new recycling containers. Are we? Yeah, with covers and wheels. Is that another first for Brockton? Paul has an interview, so we're going to go over to Paul. Okay, I'm here with Armin Merrion. Armin Merrion, the senior class president of Brockton High. It's great for you to come out. I heard you had a special project today. What'd you do today? So, as the senior class president, me and my partner, Sheldon Smith, a part of the DECA program at Brockton High School, created an advertisement campaign for the parade downtown here on the 25th. Uh, it's beautiful out here. What we did, we had... Uh, people we sent out uh letters to the clubs 40 clubs in brockton high we said if you guys want to uh participate in the parade this year you know we want to get as much of you guys down here so come participate you know do a float do a banner come and volunteer your service so that's what we did how'd that go good everybody come out everybody came out we had a great turnout documented in front of the store tuxedos by mary and this afternoon at the brockton christmas parade good job Thank thanks you. for coming and thanks for everybody's support back to you guys at the booth John, They're following in the family footsteps. You know, I couldn't be prouder of my nephew. He's just an incredible talent. Uh, he's a bundle of energy. Reminds me a lot of myself when I was his age. But he's really doing a lot up there. And he's uh, so passionate about uh, being president and uh, how he can bring some change. And he brought a lot more people down here to the parade based on his enthusiasm and his passion. I think we're finally going to get a Marion in the mayor's office with that kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to happen. <laughs> As we're seeing Brockton Area Transit, uh, Ray Ledoux has always been a great supporter of uh, everything that we've done here in the Brockton Holiday Parade. And we see a new bus here. It looks like a futuristic bus. I don't even think it has any, uh, it, it could be electric. Energy efficient, that's for sure. Uh, we have Mutual Bank following them. I would like to thank uh, all the folks at uh, Mutual Bank and Suzanne Fernandez for really being supportive again of our parade. We uh, can't thank you enough of all our sponsors. 
Uh, Southeastern Regional is also uh, a huge supporter of our parade because, of course, they made the float, okay? Uh, and this is the Brockton Cross Country team right here in front of us. Uh, they're carrying the Harbor One float, who is another sponsor of ours. Uh, and then we have uh, James Edgar SA and Cover Art winners. Which are uh, outstanding in the book, John. I mean, I don't know how the judges pick those at all. Well, our winner for the uh, art was Alyssa Texera. Uh, and honorable mentions was Stanley Luke. Diana Diaz, Francis Rodney, and on our essays, we had our winner. Let me just get this right out here. And Junior ROTC is going on while you're looking for that, John. They are our impressive. Winner is Vincent Rodriguez on our James Edgar essay contest. Honorable mentions to Lauren Holland, who's marching today. Uh, Michelle Favory, Sashwana Sharp. We'd like to congratulate all of the winners and the uh, honorable mentions and of course this is our ROTC as Mark said Mark had a son in ROTC is Colonel Clark right here in the side um, they do a great program here what can you say and it I gets mean, bigger every year I think this is bigger than uh, I don't know I was gonna say like uh, what, what country do you think has a smaller army than the ROTC here in only Guam Guam might Brussels Brussels might not might. even be a country Maybe Monaco. And as we're watching Frosty and Rudolph in the background, I just want to thank the Southeastern Regional uh, Vocational School for making this float. The float that uh, Santa's riding on, the Santa, by the way, because he has a great relationship with James Edgar, was created by the Southeastern Regional Vocational High School students. It's just amazing. Um, amazing. And we are proud of all of those students. I proudly serve on the school committee. They just built Tiny House 2, which has radiant heat in the floor. If you saw it at the open house, we didn't have a parking space to get people admitted to the school. Now, we're watching the majorettes and we're watching the world-class Brockton High School, listening to the world-class Brockton High School band. But behind them is a 20-foot Frosty and a 20-foot Rudolph, okay? It takes 42 people to move these floats, okay, these balloons. And you know what? We got a call from Macy's, and they, they wanted these floats, but we said, what did no. we say, Mark? No. 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 They belong here. They this have to be own. in Brockton. Stop trying to show off. I see Vincent Macrina there, who has led this band for over 40 years and does an outstanding job every single day. Well, you can't say enough about Vinny, and you can't say enough about his program, but you've seen the Pluff Academy, the West Middle School, you've seen uh, Kennedy, you've seen all of the recruits that are uh, cultivated. And, you know, I went to the high school one day, and they said, you know, we look forward to finally getting to this world-class band and marching in the parade in front of hundreds of thousands of people. And we Let's hope we're going to get a listen to them. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. And Mr. McCreena has taken them to Disney World, and he's also taken them to the Macy's Parade. Now, coming up here, you're going to see Frosty and Rudolph. These balloons are a donation from the Downtown Brockton Association, the Greater Brockton Holiday Committee. But I'd like to say thank you to Melissa and Jose Rodriguez and your family for putting these balloons together and making the apparatus that we can carry them on. 
It's, I want to thank you so much because I know it takes so much time to do it. But look at these colossal balloons. John, if you weren't here, we wouldn't know they were balloons. We would just think it was the real frosting. <laughs> well, a little early. It's, it's getting a little Ian colder Rudolph. right now. A little early. He was looking a little and sad. And the man of the hour, and we're going to send Paul out to go talk to him. This Santa himself. Not many people know this, but Santa was double booked today, and he came here. Why not? Brockton makes sense. He, they wanted him at the Let's South Pole. And Paul's Holy climbing. Know this. Paul's climbing the. There he is. Here with the man of the hour, Merry Santa Christmas. Claus himself. You got any Merry Christmas. God bless the city of Brockton. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas, a happy and healthy New Year. And let's keep this thing going forever. This is the biggest crowd I've seen, Paul. Well, Santa, all these years, and we, they really came out. This beautiful weather really brought them we out. We appreciate that this is the first stop on your busy schedule all year. You never forget your roots. And we appreciate you coming out for all the kids because they appreciate How it. How can I not go to where it all started in the department store with Mr. Rega? You got it. This is where, and the store was right back here behind us. Can you give us a ho, ho, ho? Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas, Brockton. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Paul was right there. He's right on it. Unbelievable. And, you know, I can't thank Santa enough because this relationship that he had with James Edgar many years ago, 127 years ago, uh, that's the reason why Santa Claus comes down to Brockton before he sees anybody else. I don't know if you get this on camera, but that sled is airborne. The sled is airborne. He's already going. Huh? He's taking off. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And you know something? I have had so much fun this year. This has been absolutely incredible. I get my good bud to my right. You've been with us how many years? 24. 20, 24. And, and Brockton Community Cable is an incredible partner. We can't thank you enough. The quality of broadcasting that's happened. And my good friend, Mark Booty, who I've known me visit, John. since, since I was here, five Mark. years old. I mean, he came back to celebrate the community that he grew up in. Uh, with all our other friends to honor Rick Saviano. You this watch out, great. though. Your nephew might be taking your seat. Yeah, definitely. I don't know. That's you know he's good. It's he was okay. good on camera. He even put in a good plug for Marion's. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey, you always got to plug Marion's because, listen, after all, we've been downtown for so many years. The Marion's love the community of Brockton, but we can't say enough about what we just saw here and the love and all of the commitment and just this community color coming out and celebrating the diverse culture, the strong unity, okay, that we exemplify. The rest of the world, or let's just say the country, should look at Brockton as an example of how people get along and how we progress and how we get better and stronger. Yeah, without question. I couldn't have said it better, John. John, thank you for what you do. The whole parade committee, all the volunteers, takes a lot to to put this parade together and we had another successful one. Well, you know what, the volunteers behind the scenes, Nikki, me, you know, Scott Dwyer, who comes out and puts this whole thing together. I mean, all our lock captains, Bob Wiskerda, the lock captains come out early, they put things together behind the scenes. You know, all the committee members, you know, Melissa Rodriguez, Janet Trask, you know, Maria Wilson. Uh, I'm gonna forget a few, but I just gotta say thank you, okay, because without you, we could never do this and we love you, we love the community. And uh, we just want to say Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy, Happy holidays. Kwanzaa. Happy, Happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah. All right. Christmas. Okay. Kwanzaa. And we'll see you next year and enjoy all the things in Brockton for the month of December.